Hi everyone, it's Paul from Alexander Knife Sharpening. So this video, I got the idea from uh, Buddy uh, Grant, who's a member of the Guild of Professional Sharpeners, like me. Uh, Grant is uh, working with the dental abrasives, and we were talking, and I kind of wanted to show the difference between the higher quality brand, which is a Dededco, and also 3M makes them, and the Chinese like knockoff brand. So I'm gonna put them head to head for a test so we can take a look and see is there a significant difference. I've worked with them quite a bit and I'm pretty confident there's a significant difference, but this is the first time I've actually tested it to see how different they are. Also, so this isn't too boring, I've sped up several portions of this video where it's just me polishing the knife. Okay, Grant, for fun, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the other side of the knife, full progression. So this side I'll use Dededco, and this side I'll use the Chinese knockoff ones. Actually, let's see. Is one side better or worse than the other? I'd say they're pretty, they're pretty equal. They look pretty equal. All right, so yeah, the Deadco here, Chinese side, this side. I'm going to do a full progression, um, and I will do uh, 30 seconds of uh, polishing on each one of these, and we'll see how they come out in the end. hundred and twenty grit red is on this uh, Fordham tool right now so I'm just gonna grab it off the Fordham tool and now I'm seeing a big difference in the finish already once I went to the 250, big difference. Now it's getting a lot shinier and very fine. It's six micron, which is the orange. We're done there. Orange is done. All right, last bead. Clean off. Let me give you an idea. I'll come in close on that one, and then I'll do the other side with the Chinese. Here's my Chinese 80. And this one's three ply. So the first thing I notice is just how much rougher these are. They're much stiffer, which like I said, for cleaning things and for certain things, or even for starting out, these are a little more aggressive, but they don't give as fine a finish. And that's done. All right. And the biggest difference I saw on the uh, Dead Edco was going from, was once the 250 hit. It really started to shine. And that's it. That one's done. Now on the Dead Edco side, you really saw a big difference when I hit the 220. And this is starting to get really shiny, but I'm still seeing a lot of uh, grain pattern scratch there. Or I have more progressions, I'm sorry, in the Chinese brand. So now we're on the 400. And the lines are now slowly starting to 
become hard to see. They're there, you can still see them, but they're much finer on the 400. But that looks pretty good. I feel like we got a, a full progression there. All right, so now I'm going to go to a 600, which is purple. I make sure my watch is going. Okay, we're counting down. I can't say that I see a huge difference that time. To me, it seems about the same. But supposedly, <clears throat> that's 600 now. 1,000. Now this is the same. This is as high as the Dead Edco grits go. Interestingly, I'm getting a lot more like uh, dirt this time. This one might have had a little more uh, dirt on it. It's just about done. All right, so that's the same grit on each side both to 1000 now i do have like i said a 2500 well, let's take a look at the two and i can see the difference already so here is the chinese side up to 1000 and i can still see the lines pretty visibly but it's not terrible and here is the Dededco side. And you see, you guys see the difference? Let me back out a little bit. Can you? This is just shinier. And the lines are significantly smaller. So even though we went to a thousand on both, I think you guys can probably see that this one is shinier and has less lines than this one which has more visible lines in it. Now, just for fun, let me hit that 2500 again. So starting here, I went back and used the Chinese 2500 grit on it. And I just don't, I don't see a big difference and I'm still seeing a lot of grooves there. And for something that's 1500 grit higher than the one micron or thousand grit that edco i i'm just not seeing what i would expect from something that's supposed to be 2500 grit there so i don't really buy the uh the gray uh ones being an actually uh 2500 grit so as one final test i decided to go back and hit the chinese side with the Dededco uh, one micron and see if that did a better job in the end. And I think you can see it's definitely shinier. Now, there's still some more uh, grooves there that are still visible that I think when you compare it to the other side here, you'll see having gone through the full progression with the higher quality discs, I just don't see the lines and, and grooves in that at all that looks very clean to me and that's the difference between the cheaper discs and the more expensive discs and like I said I don't I just don't completely trust that uh, you know the ones that say they're 2500 I, I just don't think they're actually 2500. hope you guys enjoyed it so if you're interested in radial discs I will leave a link in the description of this video to where you can get them on Amazon. And as I said before, I, I use both. I use the Chinese ones, but I also use the more expensive ones. I save the more expensive ones for my finish work. I use the less expensive ones for cleaning tools and starting uh, polishing jobs, but I just don't use them to finish. They are very, very good for cleaning off rust, especially your lower grits. The uh, 80 grit I find work really great on cleaning off uh, rust off of knives and scissors and things like that. Uh, one of my favorite grits to use is the 220 uh, red grit abrasive. 
um, I use that on, on lots and lots of stuff, more so than any other disc. But if you're using these to polish, be sure to go through the full progression of discs and put the time in and you will get good results.